What's going on, shady people? Shady Penguin here. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we are doing something we haven't done here yet. We're going to be opening up some Dragon Ball Super Card products. So what I have here is uh, the latest draft box with a very, very angry Gohan on it. Uh, this is the Giant Force draft box. So Dragon Ball Super is a uh, really dope card game, honestly. I used to play the actual card game in my locals. I think I played up until said, whatever said Gogeta came out, the seven drop that made your hand go to three. And it was really, really unfun. Wherever the era was when they introduced wish leaders, that was kind of where I had checked out after playing that for a couple months. Uh, so we're back opening cards because you know we open up cards on this channel it doesn't really matter what it's from uh and dragon ball is one of my favorite ips of all time so i definitely don't mind cracking some packs with you guys and there's some of you let me know do you still play the super card game do you do you collect cards because if you've never seen these cards honestly one of the things that bandai does so well with this game is the art of the cards i love the way the dragon ball super cards look so this specific product here that we're unboxing is the draft box six uh right now you can buy it on ebay for about 75 dollars is what it retails for on ebay uh and there are some chase cards uh you're gonna see some of the chase cards pop up on the screen right now for you so you know what to look for i have a list over here because like i said i'm not actively playing but there is enough cards where i think you can totally get your value where you can get your bang for your buck oh it was a monkey inside of a monkey that's exciting uh let's crack this open and see what we got all right so we got son goku as our leader so the way these draft boxes work i'm not a huge fan of the way they work but essentially you're supposed to buy them play with your friends like actually draft and they give you four of the same leader so that it's fair because of that but honestly i haven't met a single person that actually uses these boxes to draft so i really think the whole format of giving four leaders in the same box is just to push sales which i mean if you, you gotta do what you gotta do i totally understand but I'm not a huge fan of it. But we got uh, Son Goku, Revenge of the Great Ape. I couldn't tell you how much this card is right now off the top of my head, but he's not in the top 20. So that bodes well for this box. Now, if we would have gotten, I don't know, a different leader, we might be uh, off to a great start, but we're not. We got the draft rules here, which we don't really care about because like I said, ain't nobody got time for drafts. What we have here though, is 24 delectable packs for us to crack. And you're not gonna wanna skip in this video because I'm gonna sneak a little surprise in the middle of here somewhere. I'm so excited for it. Okay, so we got 24 packs. We're gonna put this to the side now. This box is very nice for storage. I will be keeping it for storage because I love Dragon Ball themed items. And uh, it's a great little box. But look, I didn't even show you. Look at this, it's Bardock's whole crew aping out, going wild. And then you got big old Namek Piccolo. He's very large. This is from Dragon Ball. Uh, I actually, I'm pretty sure does Piccolo ever go giant form in Dragon Ball Z? Maybe in one of the movies he does, but he doesn't do it, I don't think, uh, during the actual sagas. I could be wrong about that. I could definitely be misremembering, but I know in Dragon Ball he does when he's like Piccolo Jr. and his father's dead and he wants revenge. Uh, here we go. We got our first pack here, Unison Warriors, uh, Unison Warrior series. Uh, 12 cards in a pack. I have not opened a pack of Dragon Ball Super cards in a very long time, so I'm kind of excited. Uh, and of course, we're going to see if we can go plus or minus on this draft box. Uh, at a $75 retail value, because uh, that's what I want to see for you guys. I want you to know if you're going to pick this product up, are you going to be able to go plus or minus? So we got Corrin, the Cat Sage. This is what I'm talking about, dude. These cards are so pretty. Demon God, Demigrid, Destroyer of History. We got Sun Goten, Reckless Ability. You can see the rarity on the bottom. Uh, you'll see, oh, this is, the, oh, this is a three drop 30K. Oh, another one. Oh, we got another one, three drop 30K. What is the meta right now? Shigesh. A Bardock screen. We got a Super Saiyan Sun Goku. Like, even these, like, I just, I love these cards. They remind me of the Pokemon Full Art cards, essentially. Super Dragon Flash. This is from Heroes, which is kind of, or is that from Xenoverse? I don't know if this is from Xeno or from Heroes. I feel like it's from Heroes. I could be wrong. Uh, we got Wings, the Gargantuan Warrior. His name is just Wings. Tapion, Hero of Legend, one of my favorite Dragon Ball Z characters. Uh, we have Piano, literal name Piano because of the musical instruments that Namex are named after. Oh, we got Riot Javelin. It's a super rare in the first pack, baby. Honestly, look at that foiling. Look at that. Tell me that's not dope. Tell me that's not super duper cool. I got to kill my AC. I can hear a little feedback. Why are you causing feedback? So it's super dope. I love Bardock. Cool card. Super rare in the first pack. That's pretty poggers. That's honestly pretty great. Uh, it looks like it is a three, four dollar card. We're going to go with four dollars so that we can have a little bit of better time at this i have no idea what the rate is for these boxes uh, a lot of products nowadays especially you see like any any products you open there's like some guaranteed rates right like in pokemon right now in vivid voltage you're guaranteed to 
amazing rares per box so i have no idea what the rates are going to be but we can see that the rares are right in the back which is kind of nice we don't got to do no card trick or nothing like that i'm gonna zoom in even more because for a beautiful pig like this we want to be up close and personal we got oolong the cowardly my king piccolo's underling Ooh, we have bardock here a 30k blue drop wow so this is 30k 30k the set master roshi 20k two drop who's gonna play you when they could pay one more energy for 10k more damage are you kidding me symbol we have a uh, med Macha. we have borgos great ape assault and then we have a rare so even the rares are foil in dragon ball super uh king piccolo five seconds to eradication um i will oh wait 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 and then we have a super rare i will say, tell you this much the card stock they use they've changed their card stock for their rares and super rares for sure because this card stock feels very different than the old cards it feels cheap I want to say is the it not, not I don't know it just feels like those cards you'd get from vending machines when you were a kid very cool that this is a rare and then we got another super rare chilled greatest pirate on the cosmos either this box has great rates or we're lucky ducks I can't tell you which one it is but it, it's definitely one of the two either we're lucky ducks or was there another rare in the last pack there was not so we got a rare and a super rare in that one but we did not get a rare and a super rare in the previous one interesting uh riot javelin it seems to be our heaviest hit so far so let's go ahead and make sure that gets some super blurry screen time let's go in for another pack because for dragon ball super i want to be i want to be in focus on this pack baby i don't want you looking anywhere else i don't want you looking at my face uh by the way do you like how i changed the the color in the background to green that's quality content creator tips thank you uh trunks changing history here we go we got shigesh the great ape assault yamcha oh look at yamcha in his dragon ball days Sun Gohan, look at this, like, look at this, look at this, oh my gosh, smashing the limits, Sun Goku, this is from, um, yeah, the Lord Slug movie, oh yeah, it looks so good, we got Vegeta, uh, zero combo, oh, were, were, they, were they zero combos as well, look at this, look at how ridiculous this is, look at this, I want to show you guys something, we got Sun Gohan, uh, and we got Vegeta, right, they look very similar cards, 20k power, the power on the bottom left, that's your power, the cost is the top left, so these both cost two energy, but this one has zero combo power i guess it is balanced because this is too green this is too anything you could you don't even have to worry about colors for this never mind this is perfectly fine we got trunks a 10k one drop oh look at this kid trunks look at the edging on this card coming up tambourine demon clan warrior we have a boiling berg we got ourselves a higher dragon faded meeting we have a napa with hair oh he's looking ready to is that rob i'm ready to go and then we have angela the invader this is a rare so no and this is our last card in the pack so you do not, you're not guaranteed a rare or a super rare in every pack, it seems, because that one pack, we didn't even get a rare. We just got a super rare, which I've literally never seen before. So interesting, but it could be different. Uh, recently, they've added multicolored cards, which are a great addition to the game. There's so many things that Dragon Ball Super, the card game, like the mechanics itself, that are, are right. Like there are so many things I love about it. So it's a mana-based game. Cards have a uh, cost on the top left and you don't have lands like in magic right every card can be your land and whatever color the card is that's the land that it is so i really really love that it makes it so you can never get landlocked uh we have uh cybermen infinite swarm now this is a one of the cards i forget what they're called but they're kind of like planeswalkers uh for dragon ball so they, they they come out additionally like a battle card and they have like effects like a planeswalker where they come out with tokens and all that good stuff chi chi i'm terrified of you yes trunks wield that sword baby king vegeta great ape assault we got ourselves a killer protector of the people uh we got shu we got tian shinhan's mafuba go tanks reckless ability you love to see it pirate guard kabira and then we got ourselves a sealed music box um this isn't a rare right now it's not this is a rare this is a super rare king vegeta the distressful this is on the top Wait, this is like a tops bloobly rare, isn't it? Super rare? No, I lied. I did see the picture though. Maybe I didn't. I lied. It's not in the top 20. Rah! Okay, well, I feel much like Vegeta right now and I want to yell, but it's a cool looking card. King Vegeta is a very cool character. I am OTBH. So far, Javelin is our best pull of the day, but we're like only four packs in. We got time to get that serotonin hit. The best card we could see is going to be Demon God Demigra. If we see Demigra, oh, I'm so itchy. I'm so itchy. Demon God Demigra is going to be the best card we can see in this box. Uh, it's worth $25. So it's literally a third of the box. Master Shen with his crane stance. Yajirobe chopping tails. 
We got Tora. We got Boma. Hello. We got Zuin. We got Drum again. We have ourselves a Flame Bullet from one of Bardock's buddies. Uh, Kakuja, Lord Slug Scientist. I don't remember this guy at all. Uh, and then we have the Brave Sword, which uh, Tapion is gift. I have to. I have to watch uh, this this movie again. What is it called? What is what is what is the last Dragon Ball Z movie called? I don't remember, but it was such fan service, man. Trunks got the sword that he has in the future, which literally makes no sense uh, because like this never would have happened if the androids killed everyone. I don't know. It's but I love it. It was such fan service, poorly done, but also very well done with Dragon Fist. And then we have ourselves a GFR, a great freaking rare. I guess. <laughs> I guess that's what a GFR is. A great freaking rare uh, is the. Is the I really like that. This has to be a hit, man. This is a great freaking rare. I feel like this has to be really good. I don't see it in the top 12. Uh, so that gets, bums me out a little bit. But a great freaking rare. Bio Broly Giant Force. All right. Either either it's not a good card because it's bad, right? It could just be a really bad one. But I feel... Oh, no, no. It's a $3 card. It, wow. That's crazy. It's actually... It looks like it's probably one of the worst great freaking rares you can pull in this box. But that's fine. Hopefully it's not one great freaking rare. Uh, <laughs> oh, I love it. Okay, we have Sun Gohan changing history. Uh, hidden Ambition. We have Kakarot. Fates Dawning. I do miss playing this card game a ton. I really do. Uh, Dragon Ball Super was one of the best times I've ever had with a card game, hands down. Uh, going to my locals and playing it was so much fun. I actually was even involved in some of the design, design decisions uh, not from a game mechanic standpoint, but from a, a marketing standpoint. Tapion, made to be here a little bit, a little bit of a mark uh, of a game mechanic standpoint, but I guess I just I guess I'm allowed to talk about it. I don't see why I couldn't. But um, back like when set one was first released, I met with uh, the people that were creating this game that worked like Bandai, Bandai Namco, and uh, well the division that does the super card game, and uh, I I was basically the person that came up with the idea for secret rares uh, for them. I said, hey, you should make rares that are limit one per deck, make them really good, and make them like once per every case. And they were like, all right, let's do it. And they and they ran with it. So it was pretty cool. Not that other card games haven't done it, but I was literally, literally the guy. Uh, we were literally having dinner at an Italian restaurant. And uh, it was a really good night. It was a really good time. I really enjoyed being included on some, there was other important decisions I don't need to talk about here. But that was like the biggest one that like, hey, literally, <laughs> hey! Great Ape Assault! This is like the second best card in the pack! Dude, yes! $17! We're out here swimming! We are swimming, baby! Oh yeah, you love to see that. That's... <laughs> Woo! Oh man, how ironic is it that like, I've opened up tons of Pokemon cards, right, on this channel? Tons and tons and tons. Even started dabbling as a magic, which will be hitting again next week. Uh, but man, we're gonna get like the best pulls from a Dragon Ball Super Pack. They're calling me back. They want me back on Dragon Ball, dude. I'm, I'm down. Vegeta protecting his loved ones. Chi Chi. Uh, we got another Sideman Infinite Swarm. Sun Goten changing history. Tora Bardock's crewmate. We got Sun Goten. Boundless curiosity. His curiosity knows absolutely no bounds. Uh, here we go too low we have Tora great ape assault okay I feel like the last great ape assault was really good this is a rare uh I'm gonna say that it's not gonna be as valuable it's just a rare it's just a little rare but I think we're, I did I think we're gonna go neutral or plus on this box I really have a good feeling I feel like we're gonna see maybe we won't see another great ape assault but I feel like we could I feel like the possibility is there for us Ooh, I love young Vegeta I actually love this Gohan art I think this would have looked like a sick foil, man. Absolutely sick foil. This is what I'm talking about. I, re like, I really love the art on this car, these cards. Now, granted, I do get there's, um, there are some people, we have Kami, Lord of the Lookout. We have another card behind this, which is probably a super rare then. Uh, a lot of people have a problem with like, you know, all the card art is them like standing there and doing an energy beam or looking towards the camera. And I definitely understand that. We got Bardock Giant Force. I totally understand that critique. Uh, and I think it's valid, honestly. All right, this is definitely, the, oh, it's a unison card. That's what they are, they're called unisons. Uh, yeah, dude, sick. This is a great freaking rare again. So we can get more than one great freaking rare. Uh, and this one's better than the Broly. So you know what? That's a W, that is a W. Wow, it seems like there's some value in these draft, in this in this draft box specifically, it seems like there's some value for sure. 
The value in the Dragon Ball Super card game is interesting because it really is just about the competitiveness of the card, mostly. Uh, save some Goku cards. The, the, the most expensive card in Dragon Ball Super card game is actually a Goku card. And it's arguably the most busted card competitively as well. So it kind of hits both factors, right? It's a secret rare. It's completely busted. Hey, we got Sun Goku Nimbus Master. This is a super rare. You gotta love a young Goku that can fly on the clouds and say hello. Yeah, man, I'm not crazy about the card stock they use. There's so much sheen for these, right? Like that looks really cool in the light. I really do like that. But when you're just looking at it in person, like I am right now, it just looks like, I don't know how to describe it. It looks a little cheap. I don't know. It really feels like vending machine cardstock. It does. It feels like vending machine cardstock. It's the best way for me to describe it. But you know what? I'm not complaining uh, because I don't really collect these cards that much. I'm not really a huge collector of these. But Shady, your channel is called Shady Collects. Yeah, I know. And there are some specific card games that I really want to collect. Dragon Ball Super right now is not one of them. There is a Dragon Ball card game that I am collecting. And you guys will find out more about that in the future. Um, for sure. I mean, it's an old, it's the old, I'll just tell you, it's the old scorecard game. I'm actually decided that I'm gonna be collecting. I wanna get one of each pack uh, and have that as like a collection. Bulma, the power of science. What is this from? Lord Slug Saga? I don't remember ever seeing that. I feel like I would remember that. Crushing Despair, Borgos, and then we have Tapion, Fate of a Hero. Uh, sadly, you do have the Fate of a Hero uh, being the last card in a pack. It's kind of tough. Let's crack another. Uh, and this is gonna be the last pack that we uh, crack before I do something that I'm excited to do because I have no idea how it's going to turn out. And those are like my favorite things to do when it's like, hey, how are people going to like this? Are you even going to like this? Nobody knows. And it's, the truth is just nobody knows. Man, the edging, I can't tell if it's the edging on these cards that's really rough or if it's just, oh, strength through survival. And then we're going to see a whistled melody, which is just a rare as a counterplay. Ooh, you can send this card from your drop area to your warp drawing card. Oh, man. Oh, oh, that's good. Pay one to draw a card for free. Just pay, I mean, I don't know how good it is in the current meta, but being able to just pay one, pay one, draw a card, essentially. Pay one, draw a card. Seems pretty good to me. You just got to banish it. So when I ordered more Shiny Star V for the channel, I was sent these as well as a bonus and they're Dragon Ball themed. So I kind of wanted to open them in our first Dragon Ball video, but I have no idea what's actually in these. I think they're stickers. I think they're, they're some sort of cards. Are, if they're coasters, this is lit. I just realized these might be coasters. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. If these are coasters, this guy just did me a huge service. Cause I always, I could, oh, oh! Wait, this is like, this is fantastic. I thought I was gonna be opening up cards, but he legit sent me Dragon Ball coasters with my Pokemon cards. It's like this guy knew who I was. He did not know who I was, by the way. But, oh my gosh. I love it. What is the other one? What is the other one? Hold on. Oh my gosh. This, I, this actually feels like Christmas. This literally feels like Christmas to me. Because I did not order this myself. This is, this is like, Oh, Kid Goku. Oh, so some of the other ones we could have gotten, it looks like there's like a crazy Broly down here. This would have been one of my favorite ones to get. Uh, I don't even see, oh, this one is available. So I guess there's a total of six. I'm not, yeah, no, no, I think there's, there's eight. Collect all eight. All right, well, you know what? Uh, this is actually pretty cool. This is a pretty dope one. Are these actually coasters? I think that I'm pretty positive they're coasters. They are the best. Yeah, they even have like a little circle indent right there. Wow, but this is this is like this would have been one of my favorite ones to get to, so I'm really glad I got this one. Wow, that was a really cool break from cards. Well, let's coast right along into another pack of Dragon Ball Super. <laughs> I know, stop it. Stop laughing. It's so funny, I know. All right, here we go. Let's open it. Oh boy, thank goodness I'm a dad and I can, you know, it just blame my bad sense of humor on being a dad. It's, it's super useful. Here we go. Harutagon, the Phantom Limbs. We got Trunks, the Last Hope as a unison. We got Pilaf. We got ourselves a Krillin, Protector of the People, Bulma, Heartfelt Wish. We got Trunks. We got Zoon. Nappa with hair. He's got promising youth, baby. He is a promised youth. And our final card is going to be another Whistled Melody. We just saw you, and we're here for the art. At least that foiling looks like someone brushed. It looks like someone took a rainbow, put it on a paintbrush, and just went shing. And I'm not complaining. I think it's pretty cool. Let's get into the pack. Let's get some pack magic in here. I mean, we've already pulled... It feels like we've already pulled a good amount of cards. We're not at our break-even point yet, for sure. I need another big hitter 
Like, I need a King Piccolo or a Demon God. For sure. We got ourselves Master Roshi. Potential Unleashed. Vegeta's protecting his loved ones. We got ourselves Master Shen. We've got some Bardocks in here. Super Saiyan 3 Full Throttle. We got a Piccolo. Tambourine. Strength through Survival. Minosha, Unsealed Hero. Bulma, the Power of Science. And then our rare is going to be Son Goku. Plan for Victory. Goku from Dragon Ball. Planning for Victory. This is the World Martial... World Martial Arts Tournament Saga. Uh, and it's a dope looking card. Don't know, I don't see it in the top 12. So you guys will have the price point on the screen if it's worth anything. It is just a rare, not a super rare. So it doesn't have to be worth something. I would say that all the super rares in here should be worth at least $3 a pop. Uh, at a $75 retail, I would think they're worth at least $3 a pop. Bardock, the final spark. Piccolo Jr., the king. Look at this, look at this card. Look at this. Look at how evil that face is. That's what Piccolo used to look like. Remember that when you go to sleep tonight. Uh, Demigra, Demon Realm. We got Sun Goku. Fasha. We have Super Saiyan Sun Goku. Yajur Robi. Drum. Oh, I think this pack is going to be good. We got Bulma. We got Tulo. Crushing Despair. And Downfall of Pride is our rare. Look at King Vegeta's dead face. I feel bad. Poor King Vegeta. He was done so dirty. Frieza really did do him dirty. Racist Frieza. I Frieza literally is one of the most evil villains in all of anime history. IMO. Uh, we have Yajirobe, a new ally. Orgos. Sun Gohan changing history. This is the Xeno Gohan. He looks better than the other adult Gohan, in my opinion. We got Sun Goten from Xeno as well. Vegeta, young elite. We got Trunks, legacy of a hero. Piccolo, the brilliant rogue. To save the earth. Pirate guard Toby. We have Minosha, unsealed hero strength through survival and then our rare in the pack is a tyrannical blow lord slug is just dragging goku by the ankle and i kind of i'm kind of here for it i'm kind of about it what is that three rares in a row i literally think the other half of this box had everything good and now we're just sitting here with nothing we are just sitting here with absolutely nothing here we go haruta the phantom limbs lord slug power overwhelming vegeta villain turned protector what a name piccolo that's another critique that this card game gets is that the names of the cards can be kind of uh, either cheesy or just like repetitive and not really anything crazy. We have ourselves Final Heat Phalanx. Uh, I love seeing Super Saiyan Bardock. Anything with Super Saiyan Bardock, I'm kind of like, I guess I would, I don't know if I would use the word simp, but I, I'm kind of, I kind of do simp for Super Saiyan Bardock. I do. I think he's fantastic. I think he's a very cool character. Uh, I, I, I want to believe that that's how it goes, right? I want to believe that the original Legendary Super Saiyan was Bardock, because I like that. It, it, it kind of tickles my fancy. I guess, canonically now, it might be, it might, no, no it's not Broly, because Broly only learned Super Saiyan in, from Goku and Vegeta in the movie. So maybe it is, maybe, no, it can't be. I don't know. So does anyone know who canonically the, the Legendary Super Saiyan is? Originally, everyone believed it was to be Broly because of the movies. Uh, the original Z movies, but I don't think that's, I don't think that's canon. I know the movies are not canon. So Corn Ta Corn Towers Secret Medicine. This is uh, the Towers Medicine. It's not Corn's Medicine. Do not get it confused. Don't get it twisted. Here we go. We have a few more packs left. I love the sound of pack openings. I really do. They're so nice. Uh, here we go. Corn the Cat Sage following his tower. Here's that demon baby. We got Trunks, Goten. We've seen all these cards. Smashing Limits, Go Tanks. Go tanks, go tanks, another go tanks. And would you look at that? Son Goku, unwavering conviction, unwavering. Uh, and then it's important to note there's one more card behind this and that's gonna be our super rare. And it's gonna be, oh, we got another giant force. Oh, does GFR just stand for giant force and not great freaking rare? Man, you know, that's a missed opportunity. But this is probably one of the better uh, GFRs I'm gonna say because it's Herudagon and Herudagon was pretty busted in Dragon Ball Super, I forgot what set he came out in, but my one friend Rolex, I think he won with Harutagon for forever while uh, Blue just had completely busted combos, like the Kid Trunks combo that would untap an energy. But that kind of information is only valuable to you or uh, relevant if you played the card game. I feel like a majority of you guys watching this did not play the card game or do not play the card game, but I'll be able to tell from the comments. So definitely leave a comment down below. I read them all. Son Goku, power to protect. Negate the attack and play this card. It's a two drop. Okay, when this card's played, choose one of your opponent's units and cards to remove a marker from it. Okay, 
So it removes a marker. I have no idea how strong Unison is, but this card art is really nice. I really do appreciate this art. I think it's pretty darn sick. Pretty darn sick. We got a few more packs of Giant Force, and we'll be wrapping up our very first Dragon Ball Super. If you guys want to see more Dragon Ball Super cards on the channel, let me know. Let me know. I really do enjoy opening whatever, uh, especially if it has, I mean, if it has good art like this, and there's some sort of nostalgia connection for me. Obviously, Dragon Ball is literally top five favorite, favorite IPs of all time for me. So I could open up Dragon Ball based cards all the time and I would probably never get bored of it. We have ourselves an Imparted Wishes Tora. He's giving us his wishes. In fact, his wish might be for another card behind him. And would you look at that? It's King Vegeta, Giant Force. Let's go. So it looks like whenever there's a great freaking rare in the card, that's when you're gonna get a rare and then another one. Looks like that's gonna be the case. Yeah, man, this is an interesting stock choice to say the least. It also looks like in the draft box, there's a chance that you just get all four of the great freaking rares. I feel like that's what it is. I feel like you get all four of the great freaking mirrors. Man, we're really not gonna see Demon God Demigra. We're not gonna see the best card in the draft box. I was really hoping we would snag that because that would just tip over the scales. And I think we'd be, I think we'd actually be plus. Have we gone plus on any sealed product on this channel yet? The answer is no, in case you're wondering. We did get the final blow. This is a super rare, one of the coolest scenes from Dragon Ball. Uh, and you gotta love how in the movie with Harutagan, that Goku redoes Dragon Fist uh, with the Golden Dragon Fist and kind of imitates one of the first most iconic scenes in Dragon Ball. I mean, this happens very late in this in, in Dragon Ball, but it's just such a memorable scene, right? So recreating that as an adult was really, really cool in my opinion. I loved that. So it is what it is. And then doesn't GT doesn't JT, GT use the Golden Fist as well? I'm pretty sure they do. I'm pretty sure GT uses the Golden Fist. You know, speaking of GT, I've actually never seen. Isn't there a GT movie? I've never seen the GT movie, and I feel like that's something I should be obligated to watch as a fan of Dragon Ball. I should just, I should just find it and do it. I really should. King Piccolo, the new ruler, this is a hit. Let's go, this is a $25 card. That'll put us over, I think. I think we're good. I think we just crossed the threshold, baby. I could be wrong, but it feels like I just got married again. Let's go, without all the costs. I mean, this is only $75. Let's not talk about how much our wedding costs. We got Tien, Master Roshi, Shigesh, Trunks, Son Goku, Meta Macha. Here we go. Our last card is gonna be the final heart phalanx. We've already seen this card, but I do send for Bardock, so that's fine. Wow. All right, we had some crazy hits in this opening. Honestly, we hit almost, we, we hit two of the three most expensive cards in the box. Uh, so I can't really complain. I really can't complain. I'm um, actually based on the market price that Bardock might be even higher than I said. No, it's 17. I don't know why it's listed after uh, or before Piccolo and Piccolo is 25, but I mean, this is 25. I don't know what this is, but we did good. I'm pretty proud of this. I, I have a feeling that you get all four unison cards in this draft, no matter what. If not, then I got really lucky. But I feel like that would be the case. We had the King Vegeta. The only, yeah, the really only big hitter we didn't hit was the Harutagon because I called him out by name in the beginning of the video and that's my fault. With that though, that's gonna be it for today's video. Hope you got your daily dose of dopamine, serotonin, whatever you're looking for from me. If you did enjoy, don't forget to click subscribe. We are soaring right now. We just celebrated 10K two days ago from the time of recording this and we're already at 11K, which is just, no. Keep spreading the good word of Shady Collects. I'm gonna get the hashtag out of here. Have yourselves a fantastic day, but above all else, Keep it shady.